uh, Mr. Solis, the state in its discretion has chosen to uh, file some felony charges against you uh, as an adult, which means that they have direct filed the following charges against you and from this time forward you'll be uh, treated as an adult in adult court. Uh, count one attempted first degree murder with a deadly weapon, uh, which is a first degree felony punishable by life. And count two conspiracy to commit murder, a first degree felony. Uh, sir, do you have an attorney? Who, uh, who's your attorney? Did you hire an attorney to represent you or, or was the public defender appointed? And do you want to continue to have the public defender's office representing you on these charges? How old are you? 15. Uh, do you have any source of income? Do you own any property of value yourself? And do you have any money saved yourself? Have you, have you discussed with your parents whether or not they intend to hire an attorney to represent you on these charges? And I'm sorry? They said maybe. All right. Do you want the public defender appointed at this time, or do you want to let your parents look into hiring an attorney to represent you? All right. I will reappoint the public defender to represent you on these charges. There is a $50 application fee uh, for those charges. Uh, the uh, state chose to uh, file a capias in this case, so I don't have to consider probable cause. However, I need, um, I'm going to need more than what I've got here to consider conditions of bond, Ms. Ortega, because I don't have anybody's names in here. If I'm going to order no contact, I have to have names. So perhaps you want to contact your office and have them get me names of victims and co-defendant. All right, sir, if you'll have a seat uh, when the state gets me that information that's necessary for this hearing, I'll continue with this, the first appearance.